So one of the things I've been campaigning on is the proliferation of dirty money in the city and in our communities as well. So you'll see this on our high streets where you find these uh, sweet shops that are coming into units and we're not confident uh, that they are operating operating effectively. And also, I'm really concerned about dirty money in property. And if you have a home that is owned by, uh, with a lack of transparency, possibly by an untransparent trust, that's a home that isn't being lived in by uh, the local community, and I'm worried about the impact that would have. Also, for the City of London itself and our financial services, for our long-term sustainability, we need to make sure that everybody is confident in our anti-corruption measures and making sure that in the long term, the city has the respect and the accountability to be working effectively. Yeah, how would one, however, implement such a thing, particularly, as you say, the high streets, for example, mm. even in property? How do you then put that in? I mean, that's one large funding that comes into play here. And big, one of the big questions is the kitty won't necessarily be as big if a new government comes into play here and so you don't have too much leeway to alter things. Well, one of the areas that our Shadow Foreign Secretary David Lammy has been talking about is making sure that London is the anti-corruption capital and that involves having a whistleblower scheme but also securing transparency around ownership of property and that will make a difference. Another area that we must think about is the enforcement of the legislation and, and regulations that we already have and that's something that's an issue that I've been campaigning on as well yeah as part of your central themes as well then I mean you, you've spoken things about uh, heating for example being quite sig uh, significant mm -hmm. and important I mean one could say that the current government will say well we've actually made attempts to really reduce those prices quite significantly despite the war that Russia has in Ukraine how would you how would anything change economically then well, with a change? That's, that's a fantastic question and it's a cause very close to my heart. So Labour's uh, promise is to establish Great British Energy, which would be investing in the renewable energy that we need in order to secure our energy security, to create jobs and also to reduce bills. Another part of our programme is community energy schemes. Right here in the city we have Allgate Community Energy, where local communities can invest in solar panels to reduce their own bills and that's something that is that we, we can deliver that's something that we really can make sure makes a huge difference to people's day-to-day -day bills and another thing that I think hasn't been done nearly efficiently or on the scale that needs to be done is the insulation of our homes yeah. we have damp and leaky homes and what we need is long-term consistent programs that make sure that we're insulating homes to reduce those energy costs for individuals so from the long-term investment in the infrastructure sure. that we need in this country to generate uh, clean renewable energy right down to community energy schemes where we're generating energy locally and yeah. also insulating our homes I think that's how we get on top of energy prices and also energy security which as you as you mentioned is so important yeah, this